Okay, so I have loaded all of the files except two files for some reason they didn't want to go on this from my MacBook onto my new hard drive in the enclosure. So I'm just gonna start by taking this off, putting that aside, and opening there we go. Popped open and we're ready to go. So I'm just taking that out. And here is this little L frame where you unscrew a couple screws and ready to go. There's just a little screwdriver like that. A little Phillips head screwdriver. I'll zoom in for you. Okay, so I ended up getting a different screwdriver because this one was just too long and it was just a hair bit bigger than I needed. So it's got the little micro size one. So I took, I unscrewed the three, pull this out as you can see, just be very careful with it, so you don't do that. Make sure you don't lose those screws. Okay, those are still intact. So, right here, do a close up. There's a little white tab. All I have to do is just pull that out. But before I do that, I'm just going to go touch something metal to ground myself, so I don't get shocked, just in case. A little tab and pop. There you go. So I'll zoom in a little bit. There you go. There we go. There is the hard drive. 120 gigabyte hard drive. So now all I need to get is a little T6 Torx screwdriver and unscrew this. So I'll be back when I get that. Okay, so I was off by a few, but it it is a it's still Torx. It's just T T8, so that's like kind of a standard Torx bit that a lot of companies use these days. So you just have to unscrew unscrew the four T8 Torx screws that are in there. So I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. Just to and this is just for taking the tray off because that's you need to mount this hard drive in here. Okay, so I'll get back to you when I'm done unscrewing these. Um, and it's for mounting. This is just the tray that I will be putting onto this so I can stick it into the MacBook. So I'll get back to you with, when I'm done with that. Okay, so I took the screws off and now I'm taking the hard drive out. The 120 gigabyte, setting it down, and here's the tray. Um, so now I need to take my new hard drive. 500 gigabyte. It's pretty. There we go. Just making sure this all sits right. And there we go. This there is it's in the tray, and I'm going to screw the screws back in to this hard drive. Okay, so I screwed them back in, and just a neat little thing. I don't know. If it's not really that interesting, but the 120 gigabyte and the 500 gigabyte were both Seagate hard drives just mine is a bigger volume and uh, it's faster so it has better performance so now I just need to take this and carefully and I just put the, f the tab down like that and make sure the tray the perforated side is facing up when you slide this in, make sure this is under here. And I'll zoom in so you can see this. There we go. Slide that in there. Let's hit it in there. Right you just want to make sure you never force any of these things because that never goes well. So there we go. Just kind of make sure it's in there securely. I'll press on it and now we need to put this little L tray back on. Okay, so when you put the L tray in, make sure you put the little part with the bump in first, like this. So I was looking at the camera, so I'm just kind of sliding in there. 
There we go. Now I just need to do the screws and I'll be back. Now I just need to put the battery on. So you're ready. Lock it and you're set. So I will move this over to my desk. This is 7200 RPM with 16 megabytes of cache, so it would be nice if it was kind of fast, I don't know. So it should open files faster than my old one, so let's hope this works out. Yeah, apparently the first boot up was supposed to take a while, so... There we go, we got the apple, so I guess that's a good sign. And the little spinning. Um, let's see if I can zoom into that. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the little spinning thing on the apple. Got the blue screen, that's good. And it came up on my monitor too, so with my profile and everything all set up, so I'll be back after I type in the password. Okay, enter, and it's logging in. That was fast. So there we go, got my, both my backgrounds that I had previously, and it picked it up, Epic Drive 2, there we go. Okay, so everything is up and running. So, there we go. So that's all good. And you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash paintballguy113. Thanks for watching, and for more tech videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.